I am Greg, I run Dudes Bar, probably the smallest bar in the country, more likely in London, most definitely the smallest bar in Greenwich. There's a lot of work that has gone into this, from um, the big things to the very small things. Um, something can take me five minutes, something can take me a month. I just hope my wife don't see this, but it's probably about £5,000. It all started a few years ago when we converted a room in our old house. And um, this is it here. It was a very, very cold room, and it actually started off when um, all my beers were actually a little more colder than the fridge. So I, I put all my drinks in there, I converted my kitchen, and I had some cupboards left over and for a joke I put them in there and just sort of realised I've actually got a bar. The first thing I actually went and got was the mirrors, they're sort of bar mirrors. I wanted something to, you know, officially a bar. These things are generally from pubs that I pick up um, or give them to me as, as I go around. The dart board, um, the fruit machine, um, all, all the drinks that are up here with the, um, the bell and the optics, um, the jukebox, um, how I've done the lighting, um, even things down to bar stalls, you know, genuinely things that you would find in a bar. I just wanted to make it so when you walk in, it's, it is like a mini pub. That was my idea originally, that's exactly what I wanted, and I think that's exactly what, what I've got. We've got just about every drink possible here. We've got beers, we've got spirits, we've got cocktails, but hardly any soft drinks. We've had so many brilliant nights. It's, um, it's a lot cheaper than going to the pub. You certainly ain't got to walk home and call cabs and things like that. It's literally fall out of here at three o'clock in the morning and into bed. Yeah, another thing in here is from, from our trips all around the world. Um, for instance, I've got a bit of Titanic up here. And this is um, from our trip to Auschwitz. And along here is a um, recent trip to Paris, where there's actually a snail that I ate. My most prized possession has to be my Maria Sharapova ball. It's a ball that was given to me by Maria Sharapova when we went to Wimbledon a couple of years ago and I asked for a ball after a practice session. Everyone that comes over comes in, loves the bar and I, I very much have the, the, the like wow factor. Probably the most I think we had in here we sort of counted um, was about 18 people and I was very worried about my floor. <laughs> Last orders please! And don't forget all visitors have to sign the guest book including the Greenwich Show.